Hey guys, today we're taking a look at my Gemini deck. This was requested by a few people, and I know some people have been asking me to do a Gemini deck uh, for a while. So, um, basic idea behind this deck is just to use as many Gemini monsters as possible. Um, use some of the Gemini support. They do have some support cards. In my opinion, not enough, but they do have a good amount of them, uh, just in general. There's a few very specific ones that make the deck work, and I'll kind of talk about it and talk about why I'm using uh, certain cards to make it work. But the options are pretty limited. There's not that much to do with it, but you can mix around some stuff, and I'll go over that uh, in the side deck. So first off, running three, uh, Blazewing Butterfly. This card is used to get whatever uh, Gemini you need from the graveyard, which is very, very nice that you can use this to get their effect. So you can make some very powerful plays, and you can choose which Gemini effect you want for the certain situation, which can be uh, very nice. And then running two, Valkyrie. So nice about this that he has a decent attack, and then he can destroy monsters. So it can be a very uh, powerful card to gain some advantage, and he also can become a beater. So either way, he could become uh, quite strong. And then Evocator Chevalier, probably um, somewhat of the star of the deck, just allowing you um, to destroy things with your equip cards, which just combos with Supervise, and I'll talk about how that works, but a very nice card uh, in this deck type. And then we have three Featherizer. So this one just allows you to gain some draw advantage and sending a Gemini to your graveyard. A lot of uh, graveyard stuff with the Geminis that allows them to work, so Featherizer uh, can be very important for this deck. So then two future samurai. Uh, nice card that we can use the graveyard to destroy a monster on the field. So kind of annoying that it has to be face up um, and it's only for monsters, but still could be a pretty nice card. And because it's light and warrior, it just goes along with a lot of the other stuff we're trying to do. Uh, can be very effective. And then Night Day Greffer. So this one has pretty decent stats. This one's used to get an equip card from your graveyard. So it allows you to get mage power, allows you to get supervise. Supervise is, again, you know, a big key card of the deck, but we'll be talking about that uh, when I get to it. And then we have two Phoenix Gearfreed, so kind of the boss of the deck. Um, very powerful, it has two really nice effects that you can just gain advantage whenever your opponent uh, activates a spell card. So that can be uh, very, very powerful. Also uh, very nice that you can negate spell or traps that uh, target. So that can be a, another uh, very powerful thing. And again, dumping Supervise is a big part of the deck, so can be very nice. And then we have uh, two Tune Magician. Nice that a lot of these Geminis are beaters. Uh, so this one is just a Gemini that becomes a tuner. So we have access to a tuner monster in Synchros that really doesn't have much of a downside, which is pretty uh, nice in this deck type. For the spells, one Dark Call, one Foolish Burial. Very important to send things to the graveyard to, so we can activate very powerful things, especially Gear Freed. Three Gemini Spark, probably the best Gemini support card. Maybe that or Supervise, just allowing you to, you know, destroy a monster, destroy one of your monsters to destroy a card and draw. So really, really nice that you can activate this whenever your Geminis would be destroyed. Two Mage Power, kind of a choice in this deck if you want to run more equips or not. I wanted to run more to give my uh, cards some more advantage, but it's up to you guys. Two MST, one Reinforcement of the Army, just to search out some of the Warriors. It is a pretty Warrior-heavy deck. You could definitely run two of this if you want a little more consistency with your searching. And then three Supervise, probably the best card uh, in a Gemini deck, just because you um, are able to activate effects quickly, and then you're able to special summon free Geminis from the graveyard. So a two-in-one card that's very powerful, and it combos well with a lot of the Gemini cards you're doing. And then one Swing of Memories, just allowing you to special summon a Gemini, which allows you to make really uh, powerful plays in this deck, because you can special summon you know, all of your cards in this deck, which is uh, pretty nice. And then uh, pretty much Staple Traps, not too much to say there. So for the extra deck, uh, just going to be running a few 8-star Synchros, uh, Crimson Blader, Scrap Dragon, and Stardust. You could run an 8-star, or uh, not an 8 you could run a 6-star because you do have Featherizer, but not really what I'm going for. A lot of 4-star XYZs, uh, Abyss Dweller, uh, Blade Armor Ninja with the Warriors, uh, Exiton, Gaga Cowboy, I have Excalibur again with the Warriors, Maystroke, 2 Silent Honor because we do have room for it, 1 Ragnazir, 1 Photon, and 1 Star Liege because we do have a few lights, so we can make uh, some nice light combos there. One Heretic Sun Dragon, just because of the ability to special summon, just in case we do get out to uh, Phoenix Scarefreed, so we can use that um, to blow through our opponent. So now for the side deck, if you haven't seen a video of mine before, in the side deck I kind of just talk about recommended cards, other cards that could be useful for the deck, not meant to be a side deck for matches, I just want to give you guys some ideas, some other cards that I was thinking about uh, when I took a look at this deck. So Chithonian Emperor Dragon is another kind of boss card for this deck. Allowing it to attack twice can be very powerful. Darkstorm Dragon is another alternative boss that can be really powerful. Um, sending a face-up spell or trap is fine for our deck. Um, obviously we can do that with Supervise and make other plays, so I really like Darkstorm Dragon and I thought about running him, just decided not to. Uh, Energy Bravery, just another interesting one that can protect Geminis. 
Infinity Dark, another really interesting Gemini that I think could be really powerful in the right situation. If you want to run Ritual, you can run Chilane, which is really interesting. He can get a bonus attack from the normal monsters, which kind of works because all your cards are treated as normal, which is pretty interesting. Dark Factory of Mass Production can recycle your monsters. Double Summon can activate Gemini FX, which is really nice, or you can just do an XYZ quickly. So that has a good... Uh, good um, ability in this deck with a few different options, so a really good card in this deck, honestly. Herculean Power, just a uh, card that kind of gives you some additional special summon power. Hit an armory to get supervised, but at the cost of your um, normal summon, which can be kind of annoying. Magnum Shield, another equipped card because we do have warriors, and some of them do have really balanced stats like uh, Greffer and uh, Future Samurai. They both have really good balanced stats. Um, Phoenix Scarefried also can get big boosts, so I might take out Mage Power and put in Magnum Shield. Um, just kind of debating it at this point because I'm also running like Dark Valkyrie and Blaze Wing. So there's a few different choices you can make, but Magnum Shield definitely can be useful. Uh, Silent Doom, another uh, special summon card for your Gemini's Super Double Summon. Um, kind of annoying because of how it uh, returns your cards, but it could be a quick way to activate Gemini effects. Uh, Gemini Trap Hole, an interesting one to counter your opponent. Um, yeah, it's a really interesting one once you're able to get out your Geminis and, act and use their effects. So there's also a fusion monster for uh, Gemini Super Ally Beast Raptinus. This card looks like a lot of fun to use, and I might want to make use of it um, at some point. Um, it's also 8-star, so we could do more of those 8-star XYZ plays. I might try to build, build around it at some point because it just looks so interesting and fun, um, but I'm still debating it. Um, hopefully down the line we'll see uh, what I can do with that. But that's my Gemini deck. Again, just focus on these Gemini monsters and the support that they have. Definitely fun to play. It can be slow at times because of, you know, the ability that you have to normal summon and normal summon again. But obviously we do have ways to kind of get around that, which is hopefully the point of the deck when you're playing it correctly. But if you guys do have your own Gemini decks, you can post below. Let me know in the comments. Maybe you guys have some suggestions for me. Maybe some cards I didn't think about. There's a lot of other stuff I probably didn't mention that also could be really useful for this deck. You know, I'm not running Soul Charge or some other stable cards, but there's a few different things you could do with a lot of different tech that's out there. And there are a lot more uh, Gemini support cards out there. But that's about it for me, so as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.